Hi friends, Claudia here to today again with my creative scrapbook, another layout. It's a very fun one. It's a mixed media layout and as you can see it features the June main kit with Vicky Booten's Sweet Rush, which is a gorgeous collection. I'll talk about that a little later. Now, um, let's dive into that uh, layout. I choose mainly the two papers here from the stack because I found them you know, fitting for the photo which I'm going to use on this layout. It's a photo of my son and there's a lot of blue going on because of his jacket and what he's wearing. So I thought, you know, the cloud paper is something, you know, I could pair very well with a script paper because writing is something that he loves to do and it kind of, you know, goes so well with the facial expression on you know, the photo that I thought I have to do it. Anyways, uh, here you can see me. I cut out basically two wavy strips from the two papers. And you'll see me add another one, a third one in a minute, and that's a plain white one. And after I'd cut them out, I did um, tear the edges because I like that look and I wanted to sush up uh, the papers a little bit. So now I'm arranging them. I'm not quite sure I, whether I wanted to go them all over the page or just a little bit. I think I'm going just with the lower left or well corner, so to say. That's what I like. And I'm just cutting off the overhanging pieces here. So my starting point is the three waves. And this is the photo I talked to you about. And here's my little swatch book, as I call it, of Lindy's Gang Magicals. I love that for mixed media backgrounds. They are my go-to colors, and I don't know, my collection is ever growing. And I like to just flick through them and decide, you know, which color I want to go with. So I'm finally settling on some blue. I'm not sure whether I should pick this one, the teal one, or I think there's another one which is actually which matches his jacket, and I think it's the denim one. It's called Tweedledee Denim or something. Yeah, that's the one, Tweedledee Denim. So I'm going to use that for the background. And of course, it wouldn't be a Vicky Booten layout with one of her stencils, which I got in an earlier kit from MCS. They always have these gorgeous things, you know, in the kits, which you don't want to miss out on. And so here I'm pulling in another sheet of paper. And you see off camera, I did a background with a little bit of watered down stenciling in that blue while I'm cutting out some of the journaling cards. I'm just trying to see how I want to arrange those cards, which colors do work best, in which order. And while I'm thinking about this, I might as well sush up the torn paper edges. So the reason why I did that stenciling, which looks a little bit edgy, right? It looks a little, a little bit squared. You don't really want that look usually, but in this case, I do want that look because of, I don't know, because of the general feel of the page, of the photo, which is kind of edgy and almost square and anyways. So I'm putting down the yellow journaling card underneath the photo, tuck it in. And because I wanted to go with the yellow, light blue, dark blue color scheme mainly pulled out from the photos colors there's a little bit of yellow in the background you can see that right from the photo and uh, that's how i do arrange it and uh, here are some tags i cut them off uh, about one third of the tags i'm using and i'm just roughening up 
the edges. I usually have that little Tim Holtz tool, which is really handy, but at this stage, you know, my scissors are always handy and it's a quick thing to do. So again, I'm focusing on the blues of the tags. There's a whole sheet of it, but I only need three different shades of blue. I like the here and now because that really is so great putting it in at the moment but later on you will see um, what might happen anyway so I'm trying to arrange those three cutoff tags and yeah and in the meantime I edit off camera I edit um, yeah I punched holes in them and in one on the top one I actually put the um, like a what's it called not a brad but an eyelet a white eyelet and now I am embellishing and the kit comes with all this these little nice ephemera Vicky always puts them together so nicely and I like the big arrow I like these butterflies and the lemonade the glass of lemonade and you know all these little things so it's just a, a whole pleasure to work with that so now i'm taking the sticker the puffy stickers the word sheet which of course comes also in the package in the kit and i'm not sure which title to pick actually and I didn't always want to have the same title, so in a minute I will have to decide because for the moment I'm just pulling out a few more arrows and other embellishments. Some hearts always go well, of course, in threes because you know the rule of threes. That's why I put three tags and three strips of papers. Uh, until I like it. I just keep on adding the puffy stickers. Yeah, the heart is also very nice. And then this yellow, which says, yellow puffy sticker, which says, hello you. They're also very nice because they give different texture to the layout, right? You don't always want only paper. And there you go. I pulled out from one of the sheets, I found the word vibes. And I liked it better because the puffy alphas or puffy script stickers were just too big for that. So I'm going with the fussy with fussy, fussy cutting the word vibes. And then I just put on the the word the, the definite article the in a minute. Because I just yeah, I just wanted a little bit of a different script. So the vibes is now the title. I'm happy with that also with the distribution of the black as you can see I um, prolong that strip you know one of the strips in black and in white on the top so that gives a diagonal and then I'm adding some journaling hand wet journaling in the same blue shade as the stenciled area and I'm starting to like it I think that should be it. Oh, there is a little something missing at the top. <clears throat> Excuse me, where that eyelid is. Um, I will add uh, some baker's twine. And here are some closer shots of the layout. And I will also post um, a reel on my feet. It's always fun doing reels and watching it so don't forget to check that out too and I want to remind you that you can buy this fun kit the whole June uh, but be quick before it sells out. Go to their website and just write one month only. Okay that's it for today. I'm Claudia Ressler aka Creative CCR. Have fun and see you again soon. Bye.